Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to do an unboxing. Now you may have read in the title this unboxing is going to be of a very very rare product. You may have uh, heard of Maplin which was an electronic shop that used to be around sadly gone bust a few years ago and I've managed to find a product which could help me when doing VCR repairs and you might be wondering what it is well I will now show you exactly what I found on eBay for a ridiculous price. So here we go. Here we are. This is a seven inch widescreen TFT television brand new sealed in the box never opened it was made by Nikkei and as you can see that's the the Maplin's code right contents of this you've got your 7 inch television your mount full function remote control mains power supply car power adapter uh, car power supply AV lead and user manual. Okay, that's what it says there. And on the other side, it gives you a, a little bit of a picture about what it looks like. There's a bit of a picture right here. Now, this is an analog television, so obviously it won't uh, receive any channels because there's no analog broadcasts anymore. But what I want to use this for is connecting my VCRs up straight onto the display here which I'll keep which I'll keep on my windowsill ok now this is brand new so obviously I will look after it um, what else can I show you about the box right so the specifications ok if you can read them high resolution colour screen built-in loudspeakers, so I think it's stereo automatic on-screen tuning that's for um, analog broadcast but we don't have that anymore uh, AV input allows you uh, to use it as a monitor and that's exactly what I want to use it for uh, multiple screen modes, so you've got 4x3, 6x9 and zoom Okay, full function remote control PAL and NTC supported. Oh right, so that's a good thing. So I can put an NTC NTSC signal in here and it will it will play the NTC signal. I don't really need to worry about that to be honest with you because um, I don't have any products which have that feature. There are some very very rare products coming online. So um, just watch this space. I'll be uh, repairing some three well four really four rare products back in the 80s which were around I've managed to find them for next to nothing but I mean you know I'm really looking forward to that now the review of this will be in two parts so the first part today what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox everything and I'm going to lay it all out and I'm going to show you and I'm going to give it a quick switch on okay and on the second review of this product I will connect it up onto the whatever source I have okay so we can actually start using I haven't got anything at the moment so we can't do that so there will be two parts to this okay now you may be saying come on Amir let's get into it but you know what I'm going to leave you in a bit of suspense because to be honest with you this 
I mean, it's even got a carry handle, look. You know, you see this box has even got a carry handle. I'm going to use, I'm going to keep this box, so if I don't need the unit, I can actually store it in here. So, made in China, obviously, and here you can see that it's Maplin Electronics. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's Maplin Electronics. So, shall we do the honours, or shall we let you uh, have a bit more suspense? I think we'll have a little bit more suspense. What do you reckon, eh? Right. Okay, so here, as you can see, um, you know, it really actually looks like a, a nice, small colour unit. You know? 7-inch widescreen remote control AV in mains power and car power. Right? I think... It is now time to. I can't babble on any longer. I think I, I I have to open it now. I've got my my spatula here. Um, so here it goes. Let's move this up a little bit. Here's the packaging, you leave that there. Okay. Right. There's the handle I was talking to you about. Yeah? Right, so here we are, we will undo this. Now this is probably 20 years old. Alright? I'm thinking it's probably 20 years old. And it is just now being unboxed in 2021. Hey, right. So here we are. That's what it looks like in there. So the first thing we will do is we'll take this box out. Have a quick look at what's in here, right? Right. Wow, that's the actual television in here. So here we are. Nothing else in there. Empty. So we leave that to the side. Okay, so let's leave that there for a minute. So here we have the instruction manual. Now, not if you need it, because half of that is not going to be used anymore. Yeah. So that's the instruction manual. We leave that to the side. Okay. Now, the big box. What's going to be in here? Now, I w I would have thought the television would be in there, but it's not. What could possibly be in there? I think they could have packaged it a bit better in there. Unless something is broken in there. You don't know that, do you? Right, so what have we got? Wow, look at this. Right, so. What have we got here? Right, this is some kind of mount. Okay, it's, it's a mount, so leave that there for a minute. Okay. Right, here we are, AV leads. Okay. So that's your AV leads. Here's our stand. So that's the stand. Here's 
Here we have the car adapter. Here we go. Oh! Here's our remote control. Now this remote control was just sitting in there. No packaging. Ah, it, was, it probably had packaging. It, this is probably... This was probably like that. Came out of the packaging. Okay. It's not damaged in any way. But anyway, it requires two AA batteries. What else have we got? We've got our very important power adapter. Okay, sorry it's not in shot. And this is a very important power adapter. Now, this is 12 volts, 1200 milliamps. That's about 1.2 amps. And that's that. And they even give you a set of headphones. There you are. It wasn't on the uh, specifications, but they give you they give you headphones as well. Right, so here we are. We've got two screws. Okay, I think this probably goes on the mount. And very importantly, we've got two supercells here. These are the batteries that power the remote up. So here we are. That's our lot. So what we're going to do... Let's get you in shot now a little bit here. Right. Right. So all this can go in there. Okay. Now for the big one. Now for the main unit. Let's have a look at this. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we'll undo this. Wow. Brand new, never used. There we are. Wow. Look at that. Made by Nick High. Well, the buttons seem to be pressing on. Look at that. Look at that. That is what you call it. It's even got a protective screen. A protective uh, label on it. Wow. Right, so. How does this go in? Now you might be wondering, why is he not reading the instructions? But you know what? I don't read the instructions. I just get on with it. It would have been nice if it would have given you a screwdriver. Don't know what that's supposed to do. So basically you're supposed to screw Right, so let me get my screwdriver out. I didn't realise I needed a screwdriver. Going 
Right. Let's take it off its mount again. So, I would think that that goes like this. Hmm. Typical, my blooming screwdriver is not magnetic. Is that it? That's not magnetic either. Jesus Christ. That one is right, okay. Ah, right, okay. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to. Mm, get one in first. Does this um, does this rotate as well? I wonder if this rotates as well. I haven't even switched it on yet. Oh, Don't come out. Right. right, here we are. Right, here we are. That's roughly done. Okay. It's even got a uh, telescopic aerial, which obviously we don't need anymore. Uh, we now need to put the batteries in. In the remote.
Okay, let's put the batteries in. I'm wondering if these batteries have actually got any power in them. No LED. Okay, so these accessories we'll keep to the side because we'll use them at a later state. Here's our power jacks. Okay, so you've got switch on and off. You've got a switch on and off. AB in two. AB two. AB two. Oh, you've got dual ABs. Okay. Interesting. That's your uh, headphone socket, and this is your power socket. Right, there we are. We're going to power it up and see what it happens. Right, switch the unit on. Hey, we've got a little light there, look at that. <laughs> right, let's press the power button. Whatever that is, this one here. It's gone green. There you go. Okay. So obviously there won't be any channels on there. So menu. There. Oh right, okay there you are. Look, even the remote control works. Brightness, colour, sharpness, adjust. Um, menu, contrast, brightness. Language, AV. So that's your video one, that's your video two, and this is obviously your analogue. So with volume up and down, you would do this. Let's put it on 50 for now. Uh, I don't know what that does. Oh right, this is the picture. Once I have a... Um, once I have a uh, source connected to it, then so that's your mute. There you are. That works. Um, timer, sleep. All oh, right. So it's got sleep timer as well. All right. Okay. Language. Dutch, English, Francis. Don't know what is. Oh, that's a calendar. It's interesting. A, B, oh right, so here we can, oh, look at that, I've, I've actually uh, changed the, uh, I've actually changed the uh, language on there. What does this do? Auto, I don't know what that does. Right, will this, will, can we switch it off? Yeah, there you are. Switch it back on. There you are, let me get the language back to English. There you go, that's English. It's blue screen at the moment because we haven't got a signal connected to it. Okay. 
once we have a signal, we can even, we don't actually need the remote to be honest with you. Everything works from here. That's your channel up and down. It's actually a nice little television actually. Oh, you've got a menu button as well. Right, there you are, look. But how do you... Um... So probably your auto is probably what you use to set the channels up. I don't know what this does. Uh, this button here, I don't know what that does, but we can switch it on and have a look. Oh, right, okay. So these are the screen sizes. No, I don't know what this does here. I don't want to move anything else. Oh, what's that in there? Okay, so there we are. So that is our first look at this uh, Nikkei TFD color TV monitor from which was sold in Mafflin stores back in the days. Now this is brand new, obviously, you know, it's never been used, I've just opened it, so hopefully my intention is for it to for it to give me a little bit of a benefit rather than me connecting a big massive television up onto my VCRs, I can just keep them here. And have a look at this. Right, let's switch it off. Let's unplug it. Right, so let's put all the accessories in. take the batteries out from here because uh, I never keep things in the batteries in units when they're not in use put the batteries just beside it alright what else don't know what all this is but this will go in there right there you are so this is the first part done of unboxing power up of this uh, Nikkei TFT color TV and monitor um, the next part will be testing it but I'm going to combine that with the next thing that I repair 
I'm going to keep you in suspense of what that is going to be because I've got some really, really nice rare products for coming up to repair. Um, well, I'll give you an insight on one of them. We have a Sharp VC381. And that, that VCR is one of the rarest products that Sharp made. Okay, that's all I'll say. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, there will be a part two. But that will be combined with the next thing that I repair. So, please don't forget to like, share and especially subscribe. And hopefully I'll be seeing you again in the next episode. Bye for now and thank you for watching.